Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And if all goes well, if it all goes according to plan, this video will go live on YouTube on the 17th of September, 2023, which, if my information is correct, is the 10th anniversary of GTA. And yes, that's, that's kind of monumental. And this is a new week with a lot of things to do. And one of the things we're going to do right now is say, shut up, Lester. As we're going to take a walk out here in an invite-only session as the CEO in pajamas, which is fitting, fitting for this week, as we unlock some new clothes. There's more coming. There it is, the groupie. Lots of stuff going to unlock here. Weapon unlocks. But I have been waiting with 50 narcotics here for some time. Five million dollars. And no, I'm not risking any of it. By going... Land. We're going to do the land. By going into, like, a public session. No. Time for my favorite part of all this. Making money. Preferably with no bullets flying around. Now the buyer feels the same way and wants you to make the deliveries at quiet spots around the city. Okay, with something as mild as this going on, then we can, uh... We can simply talk about this, this whole wonderful event going on. I have been waiting for some time. It takes a while to build up a hundred crates between this character and the other character. And I have, for the last some weeks, wow, it's a little bouncy and spinny, but ooh, look at that. Been doing a lot of grinding, and I have a lot of video that I have to edit that will all come out someday of me grinding double money on this, and bonus money on that, between biker businesses and nightclub bonuses, and all kinds of things where I got myself back up over the 176 that I think I was at. I mean, I was at 167 million when I did the great FOMO purchase, you know, in the FOMO panic of 2023 when Rockstar threatened to delete all the lesser used cars from the menu, and they did, and a lot of really commonly used cars as well. It was, it was quite heinous, and I really did think that on this day, they would bring them back. On the 10th anniversary, they would they would realize the nature of their mistake of annoying everybody. But no, they've really kind of just gone with it. This is their way of making sure that all the different car showrooms are, are commonly frequented. Because why would you go to a car showroom if you can just buy the car? So stuff is now semi-priceless because you don't know when you're going to get it. We're going to be doing some purchases in this video to be certain. But I'm going to sell 5 million here, which will take us up to, I think, 182 million, which should be the highest I've, I've got. I don't think I've ever gotten much more over 180 million, if I've even ever gotten that. Slippy bippy. And then we're going to spend some of it down. Probably on some pretty inexpensive items to, to begin with, to be sure. I'm a little on the fence about getting the new Dodge, you know, hot ring Dodge thing. The hot, the bravado hell ring something. I Whatever they're calling it. It looks like an interesting car. It's a bit pricey. It has performance very similar to the Saber, but it gets in kind of an interesting way with in ways that are actually completely physics breaking and to my eye show that the uh, the developers don't understand NASCAR because what happens according to Bruffy 1322 is that when you hit the brakes the flaps come up on the car like they do in NASCAR when you spin out when you spin out in NASCAR, what happens is, is those are set up 
so that the car doesn't flip over. It's an aerodynamics thing. What happens is you get air pressure, as the car flips around, the air pressure causes those to open. It's not like momentum when you hit the brakes and these pop up. And it's certainly not an active air brake. This is a matter of, you know, when it flips around so that you don't, the car doesn't turn into an airfoil. It, it, these pop open. And so the car doesn't go flying into, you know, the crowd. Or just flipping down the, uh, down the race, of course. So I'm a little bit... A little bit disappointed at the fact that they've programmed it so that when this happens, you get a ton of downforce. <coughs> I'm like, that doesn't particularly make tons of sense. Where am I going here? This is, like, bizarre. Can we cut through? Yes, of course we can cut through. We can use the standard street racing cut through here. What is... Oh, that's one of the suggested things. That's, you know, you're supposed to go that way. But on the other hand, if we look at this from... From the uh, the point of view of interesting game mechanics that you can use, now, I can think of at least one track that has you know some bends on it that I usually struggle with and slide the car around. Whereas if I could tap the brakes and have these things pop up, and suddenly we're talking some serious downforce gets applied. Okay, top. Narcotics for you guys? So, I mean, I can see situations where it's useful. But do I want to pay two million for it? I mean, you know. Will it be on sale at some point? I don't know. And there is, you know, the fact that this will be another build video, potentially, so... It's content, and if I have 182 million dollars, well, really, what does it matter? Then we're just looking at, do I want to keep the high score going, you know? That's all this is at this point, you know? I've got most of the stuff like I want. Now you look at the stuff you kinda want. I, there are some things I have priority that I'm going to purchase first. For instance, you know, if you, when eventually some of my, I have a lot of stuff to edit, eventually when some videos come out, you'll see that there were a couple times where there was a Bodhi sitting there, and it was just a Decker thing, it wasn't a real car. You couldn't get into it and use it. I hope I'm driving fast enough here. I'm starting to get concerned. But now you can just get one. You go over to Simeon's, and you can get all the hero cars. I already have the Buffalo S. We should have totally been able to drop that midair. Let's see which way we go in here. We're just running up the. Uh... Yeah, this is where they want you to do. I see it. So we're going to do that, we're going to get the clothes. They've got some nice things. They've done a few nice things. And I'm going to do both of them on each character here, you know. It's... I've got another sale after this one. But I'm not going to, I think I'll, instead of switching characters, I'll... Well, I don't know. It's, it, I might switch characters and bop back and forth. Oh, this is just the hint. I'm not colorblind, I'm just I'm just thinking about how I want to lay this out. Do I want to do both sales and then hit the maximum number of, amount of money? Way. No, 
that might be the thing to do. Maybe this will be... Maybe this will become like a cavalcade of videos here, where we have... These will be the sale ones where we talk about kind of what's going on. Leave the area. The classic, leave the area. So we can we can we can hit the numbers that we want to hit here. So I'm fairly certain 187 will be the most I've ever done here in game. But then we'll spend it down a little bit. Wee trunks open. Congratulatory phone call? We should get a contra that's that's a lot of money. We should get a congratulatory phone call. Do I have to exit the vehicle? As the CEO in pajamas. According to the buyer, everything was perfect. Job done. I tried to get yeah, it. Okay. Let us do the time warp again here, and we'll warp over and do this again. Right, we'll just quickly do that again. Oh, there's a time... Oh, come now. Fine. We can warp. And again, we do the same thing. Let's see, sell. Now we'll let us sell. Sell, right? Sell. We'll land. So that way it's a single player mission. Okay, nice easy job for you. Just go pick up the trailer that's waiting nearby and bring it to the buyer. Oh, that's right. I got, I got put a bounty on by a hacker. You know. Where's the trailer waiting nearby? Where am I going? I don't see a trailer. Oh, there you go. Finally rose in. Uh, question. Just to speed this up. Okay, fine. I'm doing this with some style here. Sparrow me. You might say, what's the advantage of this? Well, first of all, I don't know if there will be any challenges to me here. And those will be much better met in a Phantom Witch. I've never done this mission before. I find it highly annoying that it's all the way across the water, but we could take an extra two minutes here. Out. And services, Kitsaka, return the sucker there. Powerful even when it's not doing anything. Wedge it up. Plus, this thing is a lot faster. I have no idea how far I'm going to have to drive this car. I don't think it's sending me the right way here on the purple line. We should have right around the bend here. Yeah, this isn't that far. Come on. What you messing with me for? We're just gonna go right on in the front door. We're not gonna run anybody over here, though. We're gonna be kind and gentle. This lot has civilian access. Welcome them on base. Welcome, welcome.
Okay, so here we go. That took a few minutes. I don't know if it was worth it, but we're going to find out. Drive the trailer carefully. Nobody wants damaged goods. All right, now that could be problematic. Or it could be very good. Uh, this, can I go across that? Is that just sand? Yes. So if... If the, um... Alright, that was weird. If the damage taken when I hit stuff doesn't count because I'm in the Phantom Wedge, this is brilliant. If going too fast... You got some company down there. So we're gonna... So this might be good in that... We may not take as much damage from the head-on. Or any damage from the head-on. <laughs> oh, the Phantom Wedge. This was brilliant. Plus, it's faster, so it'll pull up this hill a lot quicker. Now, unfortunately, the bad guys are behind us. So we can't ram them off the road, but we might be able to pull away from them until they teleport back in front of us and then we launch them in the next week. The fam wedge is a lot faster, I think, than regular stuff. There we go. 1.77 miles. This should not be a big deal. I don't know why narcotics would be fragile. Oh, they're, they're staring behind. Sorry, sir. That's still no damage. This is this is the way to do it. Take a couple minutes to set up. If they're able to catch me and ram me into the you know in the back, then that will be a problem. But we'll wiggle this puppy around. Wiggle wiggle. We don't really have to worry. I don't think too much about the stuff in the back. Because, I mean, it's hitting stuff with the front of this doesn't slow us down at all. Ooh. Good. Sorry about that, my friend. There was just no room. I've never seen one smacked against a brick wall quite like that. That was... Right here. Breaks, breaks, breaks. Come on. Now. Don't you jackknife this on me. Still taking no damage to the cargo. Don't really see a need to slow down at this point. Don't want to catch that though, because if that car lands on me, that might be a problem. If it lands on the cargo. So somewhere up here, we have to oh, we have to back it in. Oh wait a minute! No, no, this is a problem. Do I have to get the guns out? Everybody copacetic. Everybody copacetic. They don't give you a lot of room here to back this up. Okay, let's bring this around. I have 12 minutes to do this, so. Okay. Breaks, breaks, breaks.
And I'm not a truck driver. You, you're going to notice I don't really know what I'm doing here. Eventually you'll just jackknife if you do it that way. There we go. Okay, clip the tree. Keep clipping the tree! Close enough? Nope, it just disconnected. Yeah, <laughs> this could get to be comical in about 10 minutes. If I could just get to touch and that would be good enough. Oh, hold H to detach the trailer. Deliver it. Good. Leave the area. With my trusty dusty phantom wedge. Do 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 do. And another five mil. Yeah, here we'll. Oh yeah, could you park this? You're late. I think you only get one spin here from the, the old lucky wheel for character still, right? Hey, we're done! Didn't I say it would be easy? A new luxury car is available to win. Stop by and have a try. I think that's the, wheel. the same rare livery that I have on another one. As we unlock more clothes. This is a good looking car. Let's see. Continue. I don't think we're winning the car. We're not even getting the mystery, but we're getting some chips. We'll take the chips. I don't even really count the chips in with my, you know. How can I help you? With my main, Just you know. Fortunes. I don't care, you know, what I have. I could convert them all. Probably take this up to 190. <laughs> Let's see. Should we go collect, collect more monies? We can hit the stash house. It'd be fun to hit a stash house here. I'm thinking just how I can max everything up here, just so we can get the max total. Before I go back to the other side and start buying things or buy some things on this side. Yeah, we'll start buying cars with Rusty Jack. And then take it across the way with the CEO in pajamas. I saw the drug dealer show up there. Eh, we could do that. That's a little bit of a cell phone. Only reason I'm doing this is it's basically the equivalent of getting 75k and I've got I get to do it here with the So we have 187 million and you know that's a nice that's a nice number. More than I've ever had. How's the baby? And let's let's ammo grenade launcher. What are they talking about? Cannot purchase at this time. That's a little glitchy, isn't it? There? Now we got now we got ammo. This game. Ten year anniversary. We still got weird things going on. Well, don't get the one shot. 
come over there and run up on you. Don't fuck it up. Get there. Get there. Get there. Take fucking cover. There they go. They died. Shot on me there. We got one down. You got lots down. Get down. Or I'm gonna hurt you, motherfucker. Things are blowing up. Get down. Click, click, bang. And I backed up from it a little too much. There's only one guy left in there. I could just go down and shoot him, but. I see you over there. You better get but it, 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 but it's like you know we, we should be able. You did, motherfucker. You did. You hurt. Fucking fool. I guess that did it. Put the bomber do thing down. That was a lot of explosives, though. Not as neat as I normally like to do it. Okay, shot in the hand. 72, 27, 38. All right. 72. That's gross. 37. 28. I did it wrong. Was that the wrong? Did I read it wrong? Let's break out for this and let's reread it again. Did I read it wrong? 73. Dead gum. Okay, well then, that's fine. The wrong wave. Wrong wave here. There you go. Pop to save. Pick stuff. Stuff it in the really big pocket on my side there. That was just fun. Go round and round. With the Phantom Wedge fun. You've come back again! I think he landed that. Okay, we're going for the double. Okay. They're still there. Are, th are they getting righted or are they upside down? <laughs> that was that was entirely too cruel, but the Phantom Wedge is by its very nature just extreme cruelty. Ooh, stashes to stashes. We got a thing there. It's... And there we go. That's the one car. Where is the... So that's one. Still running. We could probably pop this over and, and, and steal it. But I, don't, I think it's it's a custom so it wouldn't... Uh, it wouldn't stay. Where's the other one? Oh, at least one of them de -rezzed. Alrighty then. We're in the bushes. I don't want to end this video on like some kind of just rampant violent spree. You know, we need to. Although this is GTA. I mean, that's probably kind of what the whole point is, isn't it? Now, where's, where's the nearest clothing store? We're we'll going to have to. A look here. There it is. Well, there's one there and there's one there. Let's go to that one, I guess. Oh. 
No, we're not doing an assassination mission. Let's look at the numbers. Alright, I could probably... Yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll do it this way. Although, what, we, we look at a difference of 100k. There's 134 right there. So 187, 100 some odd. We could maybe get this to 188. But for right now, for today... That's as much as it's going to be. Let's go grab some shirts here. Maybe that'll make us look less bloody. Oh, I'm bloody. I'm here if you have any questions. There must be some outfits. GTA 5 Anniversary. Hey, look, they're free. This is the latest collection, if you can believe it. The Retired Criminal. <laughs> the homie. The retired criminal, the groupie. What one fits more? Retired criminal is kind of where I'm getting close to be here. Oh, and look at that. It immediately applies the blood. No, we're out in Los Santos, San Andreas. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. It's a very unchristian place, Jerry. I wouldn't recommend it. That is true. That is true. There's there there is a lot here that it's not very Christian. Very exceptionalist way. Let's do the Exceptionalist way teleportation. This should park the uh, the Phantom Wedge, but eh, you'll have this. I don't intend to keep the look going this long, but you know, we're gonna step outside here. Retire. Oh, not available when you have a bounty on your head. You know, that stupid modder. So I'm not gonna go in here and, and, and get the cash out of this because then, you know. I'll be risking having to do that really long driving mission. That's no fun. All right, so this is this is where we're at. We've got our Love Fist shirt going on. It's the 10th anniversary of GTA, and I've got a bounty on my head. Fine. There, I have more th things to do. I have some more build videos to do. Maybe I'll get it all done, and I'll upload it on the same day or shortly thereafter this week. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Feeling kind of cute. Might upload some videos. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.